Okay, I finally got my contacts in after struggling for like 10 minutes. <laughs> This is just a day in life. I don't know if I'm gonna drop a weekly vlog this week. I haven't been vlogging at all this week and it's already Wednesday. I did wanna drop a little day in life cause me and my mans, we got a couple things to do. Y'all know my mans be at work. He's off Sunday, Monday, Tuesday. And then every other week, he's off Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. So this week is the other week. <laughs> So we're gonna go on a little lunch date. If you guys keep up with my weekly vlogs, y'all know we got a babysitter part-time. She's here from 8 a.m. to 1 p.m. It's only 10 o'clock. He's getting his hair cut right now. When he comes back, we're gonna go eat. And then we have a couple other things we're gonna do. We're gonna stop at Michael's just to see if they have like some film for the window to like tint the windows and make it a little darker in our room. Cause y'all so ghetto. We have pillows and a bathroom mat in our window if you know you know let me show you <laughs> this right here is so ghetto i hate it so much my boyfriend came with this little craft to keep the room dark or whatever but yeah i hate it <laughs> so while he's getting his haircut i'm just getting ready right now um i just got out the shower i'm about to take these curls out of my hair fix my baby hair is what i will stuff and then i'm just throwing something i wanted to wear a jumpsuit but I'm thinking like, mm, maybe it's a little dressy. Y'all know, like, the jumpsuits could be casual, it could be dressed up, like, meh. So I think I'm going to just put on a little plain black short sleeve shirt from Skin, some sweats, and, um, I don't know, maybe my easy size or something. I'm going to just be real chill today, real chill, because me, I always do it up. And, like, that's me, you know, like, when we go out to eat, where there's just a little lunch day, dinner date, you know, Valentine's date, I like to do it up. I like to get dressed up for my man, because we can barely go out, right? Because we have the kids. I'm going to still be cute, though. Don't, <laughs> don't get it twisted. I'm going to still be cute. Yeah, I'm not going to really do too much. I'm just feeling sweats today. I just got off my period. I'm tired. I just finished pumping. We're going to keep it casual, but cute. Yeah. <laughs> I just got my eyelashes done yesterday. Check out the blinks. Check out the blinks. Yeah. I'm feeling like that girl again. I don't know, like, honestly, I wasn't phased by not having lashes. I think I haven't had lashes for the whole month of January? No. Basically, the whole month of February, yeah. Because the last time I got my lashes done was at the end of January, I believe. I could be wrong, I don't know. But, I don't know, I haven't been pressed about not having my lashes done. I honestly just got my lashes done because my lash tech's about to go to New York for like a month and a half. <laughs> so, I'm like, you know what, let me get these lashes slayed real quick. Let me... Yeah, get right with the girls. Look like something before my lash tech is gone. And now I'm really looking like a bald eagle. So yeah, I got my lashes done. Feeling real cute or whatever. Oop, that one came out easy. <laughs> We're just gonna go eat at Benihana. It's a little fried rice, a little Kung Pao chicken, a little egg roll. Yeah, I went to go to like a Japanese cuisine restaurant. I just wanted to try it. I know it's like so random, like girl, I had everything in Japanese cuisine. I just wanted to try it. I don't know, I was just looking it up and the food just looked interesting to say the least. Just something different I want to try. I'm just trying to incorporate a little, a little something, something, being more spontaneous in our relationship um, in 2024, you know, just do different things, go to different places. And I want to do different dates as well. Like, I don't want to just always go out to eat, you know, for a date. I want to do stuff like mini golf or make candles or do pottery or, you know, just like creative stuff in 2024. So, that's what I want for me and my man. And y'all, that just reminded me. The girls that know, know, BMF is coming out this Friday. March 1st! Two more days? Let me repeat that if you didn't hear me. BMF. Black Mafia Family. <laughs> I love that show. Like, it took them a whole freaking year to come out with another season. The last episode that I watched of BMF was freaking before I found out I was pregnant with Enzo. 
And now they're finally coming out with season three when my son's three months. Like, that's crazy. It took them a whole year. I think it took them like three years to come out with season two, so I'm not complaining. <laughs> Me and my boyfriend have been watching season one and season two. We've kind of been on a binge. Um, we already finished season one again, but now we're on season two. We always do this. We did the same thing when season two came out. We binge watched season one just to like kind of catch up and get a little refresher on where we was at before the new season starts. Yeah, that's what we're doing. We're on season two right now. We probably don't finish it today before he goes back to work. They only have a couple episodes for BMF. First season was only, I think, eight episodes. Second season was only 10 episodes. Why does this one only be like 12 episodes? They got us fucked up. <laughs> For the loyal BMF watchers, they got us fucked up. Damn, I should have put my contacts in first. I need to put my contacts in. Fuck, okay. Let me wash my hands and do that real quick. <laughs> Y'all, I called the optometry. Optimary. Here we go. I called them and they're talking about my order for my contacts is not ready yet. Baby! <laughs> For how much I pay, this should have been expedited. Okay, cuz what? Okay, I finally got my contacts in after struggling for like 10 minutes. It's been a couple days since I wore my contacts, so my eyes have to adjust. Everything's like blurry, and I'm still trying to brush my lashes. <laughs> I can't see a motherfucking thing. Okay, that took way too long. <laughs> Let me um go put my clothes on and then I'll be right back. Okay, so I never came back on camera. Yeah, I had to curl the bottom, the ends of my hair because when I like, I guess I don't, I don't know if I brush it out too much. It's not that even that I brush it out too much. I didn't have it curl for long enough. I noticed that this hair curls the best when I wear the, the rollers like overnight, a full night or like two nights. But other than that, it don't curl the best because I had um, ended up putting my hair in rollers when I got up to pump at like 2 a.m., 3 a.m. That's how long I've had the rollers in. So when I took them out of my hair, the top was curled, but the bottom was like straight and poofy. It was it was like weird. And y'all know how I am about my hair, period. Okay. So I curled my hair at the ends. Um, and like I told y'all, I wasn't going to do nothing special because I always dress up. I always do it. I look sexy for my man. I mean, I look sexy. I look sexy, right, baby? <laughs> we'll keep it casual but cute. So we're on our way to lunch now. I'm excited. I don't know if you're nothing special to eat, but when I go over my man, it's special. So we're a lover girl. I know. I just wanted to show you guys what I was wearing. Like I said, it's nothing special at all. Then I just put these on. And I always tell my boyfriend that these literally don't match with anything but the outfit that I bought them with. But that I bought them for in LA. Cause I have like a, a shirt the same color as those slides and then I was wearing like jean shorts and these slides when we had went to LA like a year ago. And yeah, I've only worn them a couple times since. I can literally count on my hands how many times I wore these slides. Cause they don't match with anything. So I tried to throw them on today like, okay, well, you know, I have my brown Louis purse, have brown sweats on, but these sweats are like a different color brown. Look at them, can y'all see? Look at the purse versus the sweats, like, yeah. These sweats have like, it looks like a pink purplish undertone to them. Taupe, my boyfriend said taupe. <laughs> yeah, I'll see you guys where we're at. Oh, I thought that was a bug on the window. <laughs> you know what it is when I visit. When you see it. Did I see? No. Thirty degrees, way too cold, so hold me tight. Will I see you at the show tonight? Hey, truck to the plane, to the truck, truck to the hotel lobby. Me, I go through underground garages, presidential suite on deposit, elevator up to the room, shower up, and then we hit the club. Touchdown, gotta see what's up. Area code in my phone. What numbers do I still have? Who do I know from the past? Hit one, she say she got a man. Hit another one, it goes green. Must have changed foes on the team. Remember when you let me in between? That was 2017. All good, chugga, look around. Find one to see my type. Then my okay, so we're back from lunch now. Y'all, can we talk about love is blind? Cause baby, baby. It's my new obsession, okay? All oh, the girlies on Love is Blind. If you're not watching Love is Blind, what are you doing? And I was, <laughs> the babysitter just left, so 
Mom and dad, back with mommy and daddy duty. Yes, I'm out of breath. Don't come for me, come for your mama. Baby butt here. Hey, say hi, Nikki Nikki's. I say hi, Nikki Nikki's. <laughs> yeah, I swear he was just smiling. But, anyways, lunch was good. Benihana's was real good. Because, y'all, we had been ordering Benihana's to go. Like, y'all know we DoorDash a lot. <laughs> So we had DoorDash Benihana's a couple of times. When I was pregnant, after I had the baby, before I was pregnant, we had DoorDash Benihana's. And y'all, they either skip you on food, like you get the smallest amount of rice, or I don't know, like it just don't taste the same. But when we went today, like in person, actually sat down in the restaurant, it was good. It was hitting for some, like that's what I'm talking about. So I'm making some coffee right now. I had, um, Brewed, is that what you say? Brewed coffee? Boiled coffee? I had brewed some coffee this morning and um, there's still some in here, so I'm just gonna make another cup of coffee so mom can get the rest of her day. Honestly, I had two cups of coffee this morning. This is my third cup. How does that work when you're breastfeeding? Because I know baby gets what you're getting if you're breastfeeding. But I mean, this is like really, really tiny cups and I mean, I don't fill it up or anything. Child, look, I gotta get through that, okay? I gotta get through that. <laughs> the baby but actually drank bottles with the babysitter this week. Cause y'all know last week I was telling y'all she was having a hard time giving him just one bottle for five hours, but he drank two and a half bottles. I think he left like two ounces left in one six ounce bottle. No idea why he gives her a hard time to dream and drink bottles. I don't know. But y'all know how my son is with the whole not wanting to drink a bottle or the boob thing. I have no, no idea what that's about. <laughs> but my friend's going to get his hair braided at two, so I'm going to be picking this eye out from school, me and baby butt. So I'll bring y'all with me then. But I'm about to drink this cup of coffee, catch up on some of Love is Blind. Okay, baby, because if you know, you know. If you don't, you broke. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I'm gonna get back to y'all when I go pick a tie up from school, but yeah, I'm about to drink my coffee and watch the love is blind. Bye! So it's 2 30. Um, I'm about to be on my way to go pick up a Saya. Baby butt fell asleep over there this week. Y'all know my boyfriend's parents, they live next door to us, so um his mom is at work, but his dad is home, so my boyfriend's dad's gonna come watch the baby since he fell asleep. Um yeah, I don't want to wake him up and bring him with me, but if he was still awake, I would have taken me to go pick up a sign. My DoorDash groceries just got delivered. I'm going to go ahead and get those now. Thank you. So I'm going to grab those groceries really quick. Try not to wake the baby up. I'm gonna be on my way to take a sigh or to take a sigh to pick a sigh up and then I get back to you guys. <laughs> afternoon snack and then yeah I need to pump y'all my boobs are so full they hurt <laughs> they don't they don't get in cords they don't get rock hard like they used to but I can still feel it and they're leaking <laughs> y'all so I will give you a hard time about this afternoon snack like I told y'all my last vlog you would really throw a fit a whole mess y'all he knows how to get dressed and undressed by himself such a big boy. Stop it. Stop it. Good job, puppy man. You're so small. Yeah, here, hang your backpack up. Thanks, mm -hmm. So, this is stuff in the stack. I'm just going to knees and some water. I put it over there on his little couch, set it down so he can eat it. Boop. And now I'm just grabbing some pajamas to put on. Oh, good job, pop. 
I don't know, I still get so excited every time I see him pee standing up. I'm like, he's such a big boy. Like, we're just getting potty trained. But then he has days where he wants to shit everywhere. You know, so. It's beyond me, I don't know. <laughs> That's why you don't let the men put clothes up. Because you thought this was a pajama shirt? It's a Nike shirt, babe. <laughs> I'm just grabbing some basketball shorts. Some socks and a tank top. Let's grab his lotion, hairbrush. Yeah. Your super hand. So I finished giving Asaya a shower. He's over there playing. I'm changing baby butt's diaper right now. I think I'm gonna change out this whole onesie because it sucks. And I need to feed him. He's definitely hungry. My boobs are leaking, like I said. Once again, I need to pump. So I'm gonna try to breastfeed him real quick and then try to pump. And then yeah, I'm gonna just chill with the kids for a bit. You know what I'm learning, guys? I'm learning that, cause y'all know I'm still trying to raise the two kids. But basically, let me say this real quick because the camera's gonna die. What I'm learning is having both of the kids down here in my face is actually way easier than having my oldest upstairs playing in his room by himself and me down here with the baby. I thought it would be more hectic that way, but it's actually less hectic because I can watch both of them see what's going on with both of them, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. <laughs> but like I said, this camera battery's gonna die. He's hungry, he's stressed out, he's crying, he's screaming, so I'll get back to you guys a little later. Okay, yeah, so I just finished pumping. I'm so tired. It was open. I stopped screaming. He was just going in, like screaming so loud because, like I told y'all, my boyfriend's dad um, came over and watched Enzo while I went to go pick a side up. And while I was getting inside a shower, Enzo was just screaming. Like, I think that's the last I've ever heard him scream, right? So I'm like, Rushing like, oh my god, okay, maybe he's hungry, like maybe he wants to breastfeed him. Let me just hurry up. So I get the baby back, you know, I picked up the camera. I was talking to y'all for a bit when I was changing his diaper. But after I changed his diaper and tried to put him on the boob, like, he was just giving me problems. Again, like, y'all, yeah, I don't know why he keeps doing this. Like, should I stop? Does anybody else go through that? Like, what is that? Like, can somebody tell me what that is? Because I'm confused and it's, like, really frustrating. And this is why I stopped the first time. Then I tried to get my milk supply back, got my milk supply back. Now this is happening again. I'm getting frustrated. It's like I don't want to give up because I know how fast I know how fast my milk supply can drop, you know? Um I don't know, I'm just feeling discouraged. So it's like I don't know, should I give up? Should I keep going? Should I resort to something else? Like does anybody know what this is that my son's doing? Does your newborn do this? I'm actually going to stop saying he's a newborn because I think once they hit three months, they're an infant, right? Like, I think newborn is between one month and three months or something like that, zero to three months. I think he's like, considered an infant now, but, um, yeah, does anybody else's baby do this? I don't know, but I just, I got overwhelmed because I was trying to breastfeed him. It wasn't working. He kept screaming, and he just started screaming so, so loud. And like I showed y'all, Asaya was downstairs with us. Like, even Asaya was, like, covering his ears. He was like, Mom, it's loud. Like, we were just both overwhelmed. So I just went and put Enzo down in his bassinet. He screamed it out until he fell asleep, fell asleep, woke up screaming again. So now he's screaming up there. And I'm just, I'm confused, because what's the problem? Let me put this milk in a milk bag, and then I'm going to go get him. <laughs> I just think it's so funny how us breastfeeding mamas, like, we just, we have one strong boob and one slacker boob. Like, <laughs> I don't know, it's just so funny to me, because the left will produce so much. And then look at the right, hold on. <laughs> Six ounces, exactly. This is my right boob. Nowhere near my left. This is probably like three, four ounces. Let me go get a bottle to put it in. Yeah. Why I just went and looked at the baby monitor? Enzo's asleep again. <laughs> I think that he's just tired and he's fighting his sleep. Like, 
he doesn't sleep when the babysitter's here, and mind you, that's five hours, so from the time he wakes up, which is between like 7 and 8 a.m., he stays up for five full hours, then when we get him back, y'all know he gives us a problem going to sleep, so it's like, you haven't slept, boy, you're tired, that's why he's over here screaming his lungs out, and the whole freaking neighborhood can hear him, go to sleep, he saw his wallet has been sitting out for about an hour, hour and a half, um, this is two ounces, so I'm just pour the rest of this milk that I freshly pumped into this bottle, and then I'll just make a full bottle. And why do people say that you can't mix room temperature breast milk with cold breast milk that's been in the fridge? I mean, I don't do it, just because, you know, I see a lot of people say you really shouldn't do it, so I don't do it, and I make sure that my boyfriend doesn't do it, because he was doing it, like, I'm not gonna lie, I caught him a couple times pouring, like, you know, like, this is much left in a bottle, I'll catch him, like, pouring this back into a milk bag that's been in the fridge, so I told him to stop doing that, <laughs> but, like, why? Is it just, like, a contamination thing, like, bacteria, like, what is it? So I got 8 ounces total of this pump session, but since he went back to sleep, I'm going to try to lay down because my butt couldn't let the couch sleep beside us on the floor playing and to went back to sleep. I told y'all I really need to work on napping with baby naps, so I'm going to try to lay down before he wakes up screaming again because I know it's going to happen. <laughs> so I ended up taking a quick nap. Me and my brother ended up waking up like around the same time. My side was over there playing the entire time. He's cleaning up now because it's his bedtime. Hey, let's try to do it quietly. I just put the baby down to sleep. Y'all, you know, that boy was sleepy. He was so sleepy. He was just screaming, screaming, screaming. I can't even say screaming, crying because he was screaming. He was so exhausted. I told y'all earlier he was giving me a hard time latching on. He was still giving me a hard time latching on, but he finally latched on to my left boob. I guess because my right boob, you know, has a slower flow. It doesn't produce as much as my left. And I kept trying to put him on my right boob, so I guess he was getting frustrated. So he finally latched on to my left boob. Um, he fed for about 10, 15 minutes. And then um, I fed him a four ounce formula bottle. Knock it out, y'all. Out of there. Just put him down to sleep. This one's gonna get ready to go to bed. And me and my boyfriend are just gonna chill for the rest of the night. Probably catch up on BMF like I was told y'all. Yeah, I'm sweating. <laughs> I'm sweating. That baby had me so wet. He ain't trying to rock him to sleep, okay? Because he had the, what is that called? The swather on, you know? You put them in like, oh, the sleep sack. He was in a sleep sack plus a blanket. So he had me sweating, child, okay? I'm hot. But that's pretty much the end of this video. Um, I just wanted to give y'all a little day in life since I'm not doing a weekly vlog this week. But I hope you guys enjoy. You guys should definitely be subscribed right now. Make sure you hit that thumbs up, comment down below, and turn on your post notifications so you guys get notified every time I post. I love you guys and thank you guys so much for watching. Bye guys. Say good night. Say bye guys. <laughs> y'all can't even see him. Bye y'all. Thank you.